Yeah, on the last episode, we fought Corneth. We took him out. Eventually, Zephyr was able to defeat Corneth, vanquishing him. They did some investigation, and the town gifted them a whole bunch of money. They also got a wacky magic item that maybe will come in useful later. We'll see. <laughs> then they proceeded to argue over how they should split their gold for 30 minutes. <laughs> and they're now setting off to continue their adventure however they would like. Uh, today's dice are going to be these blue clear dice that I have. Ooh, blue clear They're dice. They're translucent. Ah, blue. Very shiny, and I like them. Also, Brady, don't try to fucking hide your face. I saw that the whole time. You argued. I didn't say shit. All right. Well, we pick up. <laughs> we pick up on the island of Lesser Alertos, having just saved the place from sure destruction and having valuable information that could help the order. No, I think we should just go to the order instead. I feel like they would be more help. Than the king. That's true. He did say that. Yeah, Where they the probably would be. Where are they at again? Oh, the order. They are located on. If you see it, um, yeah, Redonis, the island of Redonis. Yeah. Uh, that's where the Redonis sanctuary is, or the sanctuary. Oh, Redonis. Okay. All right. Well, let's that's go. their main base. Why don't we go well, there? Then let's go there. But let's. I guess we'd ask the uh, the mayor for him to charter a ship to there for us. Mm -hmm. He, he I says, I got you. He says, I got you. And um, charters you a very lovely ship. You see it. It's very large, very comfortable. Looks quite nice. We'd like to steal it. Would like to steal it. <laughs> it has also a, like to steal it. a couch. It's fully manned with a crew to pilot you where you're going. Uh, it's mainly an aircopter. Can I investigate to see their weapons? Hmm? Can I investigate the crew to see their weapons? Yeah, sure. Give me an investigation check. Why? In case we want to steal it. No, we're not stealing right, it. We're check. not stealing. No, we're not fucking... stealing the fucking mayor king ship. Yeah, I still rolled an eleven. <laughs> They're armed. They all have weapons. Even okay. the ship has a couple of like uh, defenses on it. Like... Oh. Okay. But nothing serious. Yeah, we could just buy one later. <laughs> Hold up. That might come in handy. I'm just saying that might come in handy. Uh, and you may all long rest. Yeah. Oh yay! yay. I'm not Brady dying anymore. That. Chris, make sure to uncheck um, reset maximum, maximum HP. Age. You will sail Beat. out into the great clouds, leaving Alertos and traveling into the Zephyr Gulf, past um, the wild regions. Uh, which, well, a Vogler, you're from there. You are sailing. This is a kind of a more wild open clouds. Are y'all looking out for anything? I just like having or... power. All right. Uh, yeah. We're actually, though, look around. one of the crew members warned you bad weather income. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Shit. Quickly, Man the clouds break together. <laughs> and it starts to rock the ship with big sways back and forth as whoa, the ship is buffeted whoa, through the cloud. High whoa. winds picking up during your vision. This is a perfect time to steal um, the ship now. <laughs> no, <it's just> <laughs> Bill. Until. As oh, I... you are flying, you hear a cry Correct. from the crew. Dragon! <gasps> dragon! What kind of dragon is it? But wait. Don't we like dragons? Depends on the dragon. dragon rider. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. You see, this is also the wild regions that you're passing through here to get to. This is my home. Oh, shit. This, this is, is this is your home. Town. Would you like yeah. to try and make a perception check to see what is incoming? Uh, yeah. Yes. Did you heard the yellow dragon? Yeah. Make your perception check with disadvantage because you are enveloped in a storm. Okay, okay, I got a twelve. Seventeen. I got an eight. You too, buffeted by the storm, cannot see but Zephyr. You spy a glance of the huge form of a bronze dragon. <gasps> bronze. Made of its metal, its metal, metallic armor, a very shiny uh, appearance as it swoops in between the clouds. Do you, do you relay this or what do you do? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's approaching. I like, I point up at the, um, the thing 
and say it. it's a metal dragon or it's a bronze dragon. A bugler. You remember yes. something. In your extensive knowledge of dragons, having lived in this area and seen many of them before, yes, you know that there are well, two man. types, two species of dragons. Chromatic dragons and metallic dragons. The chromatic dragons are violent and dangerous and will devour and burn cities. Metallic dragons are known to sometimes be friendly. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> And as you see lightning arc through the sky, arcing off of this beast, it sets down on your ship a oh. full adult bronze dragon. Holy shit. Oh, it's full adult. Over. Its eyes locked in directly on you, Vogler Burger. Oh, God. As the crowd scatters and runs away, not really knowing what to do, it walks up across the deck uh, as until its snout is mere uh one just a foot away from you so it's about like this yes it's <laughs> right there and it is much larger than you <laughs> oh, <God>. really <laughs> it stares down at you and it says you oh, God. <laughs> yes you do you know a joke Yes. Mm. Tell me a funny joke. <laughs> okay. I'll let you pass through these skies. Oh. <laughs> All right. Do we want to go? He's you. googling right. jokes. <laughs> no, no, I won't, I won't Google, Google anything. anything. Hands are up in the air. Do, do we want, want a dad, dad joke or do we want a full on? Sex Are you asking the dragon? <laughs> oh, it's starting to look impatient. Tell me a joke. All right. Oh, I'm giving God. you 15 seconds to find a joke. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, all right. Tell I guess I'll say it. I'll just. I guess I'll say this one. Okay. I don't want to say it though. Because it's Tell so me bad. a joke. <laughs> the pressure. Tell okay. him the fucking joke, man. I am. Oh, my God. Reading. What happens when you step on a grape? What happens when you step on a grape? You let out a little wine. I didn't even hear what he said. He said, you let out a little wine. Oh. <laughs> he stops. <laughs> he stares at you. His eyes... Burring into you. You see the lyric. He's producing lightning from him. Until. Oh! <laughs> Why? Like the. Like the drink. Yeah, like the drink, bro. I like it's, the drink. I, it's funny. I get it. No. Oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. My other one was going to be me. Real knee slapper this guy is. <laughs> And then he uh he says, A little wine ah! and jumps <laughs> off the side of the ship and glides away into the clouds. <laughs> Woo! That's so yeah, he did it. I said that because I knew every dragon's that is their favorite joke. Okay. I also oh. couldn't think of something very uh, something else and I was really scared. The rest own. of your journey passes without incident until you approach the gleaming temple and city, or more just the giant temple. My humble abode. On the grounds of, of, of Rodanus, or Sanctuary Island, however you want to call it. The Sanctuary. This is where, Weinstrom, you were raised. Mm -hmm. So you recognize its gleaming towers and giant libraries, beautiful architecture. This is a high class place. It's like. If Harvard University was made, was, was fucking combined with the White House and also like a temple. Damn. It is beautiful. And, uh, <coughs> you are welcomed in as you pull in. No one stops you. They, they 
you see various order members. They're all wearing the same sort of uh, priest outfits that uh, Horneth was wearing or something similar to that. Some are wearing armor like soldiers, something more like um, uh, what, uh, 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 what what Wayne's trim might be wearing. There's uh, scholars, uh, clerics, even paladins wearing full suits of armor walking around. And you see someone dressed in just simple um, temple worker. Same thing that uh, Corn Corneth would used to wear. Comes up and he says, Oh! Hello! Oh, um, uh, Master Wainstrom! It's great for you to make your return! Who are your friends? Uh, uh, v- v- oh, fuck, what are their names? Come on! Oh, fuck me! Oh! Uh, my, 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 my friends are, uh... Wagner uh, uh, Burger the Eighth and Zephyr Arrowson. <laughs> oh, it's a a pleasure to meet you. What uh what brings you back here? Um, we have some issues that happened over on Lesser Alertos that need to be addressed. Dear, what sort of issues? Um, well, the order member over there in the temple seemed to have been taken over by the rot. And he was possessing scarecrows, and we had to take him out and to f- kill the rot in that area. By the dragon? I, I, this, you must speak to, you must speak to the great, the great Alutharis immediately about this. This is, this is. Yes. Most unsettling. Please come with us now. And he leads you up the grand entrance way. It's big, high-vaulted ceilings. There's lots of scholars going back and forth. Magic shit everywhere. You know how it is. Really cool. Is there anything you would like to do or ask as you head this way? Or are you all just good? Um, I think I'm chilling. Just go. Just go yeah, ask. I, I feel like if anyone go. would ask anything, it'd be them, not me, because I live here. <laughs> you, eventually, you would recognize this place, Wainstrom, as the main throne room. On the edge of one of the island's face, overlooking the great chasm beneath this giant throne room area. That's They go through these big doors, and sitting atop a gleaming throne of gold is a rather simple-looking old man. And he says, Hello, Wainstrom. Hello, Wainstrom. And I see Vogler Burger. I heard your names earlier. And Zephyr. Oh. It's like Jesus. <laughs> he fucking knows my name. <laughs> I know lots of things. I am Alutharis. Welcome. Say that again. I am Alutharis. Welcome. I hear there's been unfortunate news that you wish to share. Yes, very, but very unfortunate news. Please, do have a cup of tea while you're here. He snaps his fingers, and uh, tea appears in front of you. By magic! I sip that shit fancy. It's delectable. You've had his tea before? Wonderful. It's very good tea. He's kind of mid. At this point, he is not a dragon. <laughs> I don't say that out loud. I don't say that out loud. I don't say that out loud. Okay. He kind of just looks like an old guy. Big white beard. Wait. It's, okay, never mind. I'm hmm? cooked. I, for some reason, I was thinking Alutharis was the golden dragon. He is the golden he dragon. Is. Oh, he is. He's also but like he my is. grandfather or something. But he's, but he's a... Is wait, your, I'm confused. Do you call him grandfather? Maybe he could, like, you were like, oh, he kind of just looks like an old man. I was like, what? I thought it was a big-ass dragon. He is in the shape of an old oh. man. Oh. Well, I guess he is like God, right? He's yeah. literally yes, God. He is God. He's just sitting there on his little on his golden throne. Oh, um, so he, he can shape shift. That's kind of what you're saying. Yeah, he's God. You uh, don't know the full extent of Alutharis's power, but yes, no one does. Except probably. Well, I might have some, considering I'm yeah. pretty close. Yeah, to you do know. You know a bit. More. Yeah. Now, <laughs> tell me, what's vexing you? What's on your mind? Uh, well, have you heard what happened over in Lesser Alertos? I don't. Be- I would like to hear it from you. So, I find it pertinent to get the story firsthand. Sounds good. So we showed up, <laughs> and we heard immediately about an issue pertaining to scarecrows coming to life at night, 
and they all want were saying how the mayor was doing nothing about it. So we ended up heading out into the cornfield, and we fought these scarecrows and ran into this guy named Corneth, who was the one seemingly controlling and creating the scarecrows. Later that night, we went to the the temple that they had there that was uh, following the order, the religion of the order. And we felt something off about the priest that was there. And I ended up seeing into his thoughts and I found out that he was actually Corneth. And he was the one controlling the scarecrows. So we, we left there and we came back the next day and he was possessed by the rot. And so we had to take him out and we ended up taking out the rot in Lesser Alertos. And we discovered from his little book that it seemed he was possessed by the rot against his own will. He snaps his fingers. Did you see something like this? And an illusion appears of that same uh, a beating pustule that you saw growing out of the ground there. Yes. Yes, that is what I eliminated. Most concerning. I will let you win on something. The rot is spreading. It's been developing new forms, corrupting new islands, and jumping further. That is the furthest we have ever seen it travel. That's not good. If we do not take action, this corruption will overtake everything. And we won't be able to stop it anymore. Which is why I am giving you all a job. I am asking you humbly on behalf of me and my order. Head out. Collect as much information and power as you can and eliminate this threat. Be it is and you will go with my blessing and one of my ships. <laughs> Okay. Well, it gave me the chills, bro. That was so good. Uh, we'll accept that. <laughs> and he claps his hands together and says, Phil, who would like a delicious raspberry cookie before they leave? Me! 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 me. <laughs> Wait, I ask yeah. him, I go, I go, Alathoris, do you like jokes? No! Oh, I love a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I say, what do you get when you smush a grape? <laughs> oh, that's not... Wine. Okay. No, you said that terribly! Yeah. I don't get it. Fuck. That's yeah. You said it shitty, shittily. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you like? Him. Let me ask him. Maybe I should ask. Yes. Well, which uh, is kind of bad because it would look really bad if he doesn't laugh at this. Yes, <laughs> sir. Do you want to hear a joke? No. <laughs> what happens when you step on a grape? Yeah, like I've heard this one before, but. <laughs> Yes. Nothing. It just lets out a little wine. Oh, it's a pun. I see. Bruh. <laughs> anyway. Well, you tried your best. I suppose it's the thought that counts. <laughs> That's insulting. Anyway, now. moving on. <laughs> now, I wish you the best of luck on your mission. Oh. And if you need more assistance, remember, uh, you, Wayne Stream, you would know about this, but I don't know if either of you would know, but I'm just going to tell you anyway. Oh, fuck. Don't. All right. Remember, so if you need assistance, Salvation Island, you can see it's right next to the Rotting Isles. It's that little tiny island just above Anchor mm -hmm. Island. Yes. Another one of our strongholds are there, fighting back against the rot. That will be your base of operation to launch into their territory. Everywhere you see there in the Rotting Isles has been fully consumed by the rot and its infection. You will find nothing good there. I don't recommend you throw yourself immediately into that, as you will probably immediately die. But maybe going to Salvation Island or investigating something along or investigating the islands near there could prove extremely valuable to you. <coughs> Need to get anywhere? Just drop mine. Feel free to drop that uh, you're on. You're working with me. 
they'll probably let you. Wow. Valid. Sounds good. It gives you a little letter of invitation that basically says, "Hey, we're this is important business. Let us through." <laughs> you should take that to Greater Alertos and take it to the king and be like, "Give us gold. We need funding." <laughs> oh my God. Go crowdsource fund. <laughs> yeah. You gotta start a GoFundMe. We'll use page that. We'll use that as like the promise. <laughs> start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> yep, that'll be the promise. Hell uh, yeah! Our mission. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Anything else? Or are you heading Thank out? Thank you, sir. We should oh, start heading out. Or should we, should, we grab, should we grab a couple supplies from the order? Like, would I be able to like? ask him or can i ask him if there's any way i could be trained on some more spells while i'm here or um anything like that or if he has any gifts for us to help us on our way he says hmm. you will find i will give you all uh, I will give each of you a potion of superior healing to take it. To take on your That's clutch. To Brady's. That's clutch for Brady. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And Brady, you Fine. can even have mine. Potions of healing are great. Yeah, I mean, you never know when you might need one, so I wouldn't give it away. But I'm I guess. I don't know. I feel like Brady would need it more than me. True, Unlocking but it. you could always just use it on me. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. I think you must, in order to unlock your path, you must face it your own way. I can only teach you so much, and I have trained you. I have helped instruct in your training. But now you must take your own path. Young Wainstrom. Okay. Thank you for the potions. A oh, potion? Much appreciated. Ocean of Thank superior you. healing. Just type in healing and then in parentheses it'll say superior. I got it. Yeah, it, it's better than a normal healing potion. It gives you a lot more. I'm just going to add it so I can. It gives you 84 plus 8. That's a lot of health. That is a lot of health. That's a fuck ton of health. That's like my whole health. Yeah, 88 <laughs> is crazy. 84 plus 8. 84. Okay. But still, that's crazy. Eight. You could, if you max that out, that's what thirty six plus eight. It's, it's like literally, it's literally more than my health. Yeah. Can you overheal? No. Fuck. You only heal up to your max, but you can get temporary HP. Okay. Anything else here, or are you heading out? As you now have your ships docked up. What else would be like on the island that could be of use to us? Um, there's the temple itself, there is uh, various libraries with knowledge and information. Should we there's, go, could we go, like, should we go to the library? On, on the rot and, like, all the things? There's, there's a duck pond. <gasps> oh, I want to go to the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> there's a duck pond. <laughs> Can I no, I love how that pond? immediately made us all interested. Yeah. So I... I can't learn any new spells here yet. Okay. Get more spells. Maybe. I would, I would, I would want to go to the library and read up on things. Go to the library, you two. I think you two are going to the duck pond. Do we want to go yeah. to the duck pond? We're going to the duck pond. I'm going to go to the, go to the library. Um, one or two, we're going to start with, with Wainstrom. Three or four, we're going to start with duck pond. Duck pond. All right. We are starting with Duck Pond. Duck Pond. Duck Pond. Duck pond. Duck pond. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you make your way over until you find this lovely little corner under a tree. And there's various ducks swimming around there. Uh, it's very nice. And there's a guy sitting there. <clears throat> he is wearing this gigantic suit of armor. You cannot see his face. And he is sitting there throwing a couple bits of bread at the ducks. Uh... Let's go talk to the guy. Yeah. Let's you, ask if he has an extra piece of bread that we can throw. Turns over and looks at you. Reaches into his coat and he hands you a loaf of sourdough bread. Oh. Or is he thank you, sir? <laughs> Say, sir, where would you get some armor like that? Oh, uh, this armor. 
Hmm? It was I earned it. Uh, in combat. How'd you earn it? Okay. Slayed a great fiend that was forming a village. And That's cool. And the order had it crafted for me. Hmm. The order didn't craft me shit. Do fuck? you think <laughs> Do you think you could what would it take for someone like my friend to get some armor of that caliber? Order to in order to fight. Is your friend a spellcaster or Um Well the one that I'm talking about is not. But he might need some armor. Are you talking uh, about you... <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about? In order to learn to fight an army, oh, I know you, must learn, <laughs> you must learn to be a part of your armor. I have trained extensively to be able to wear this suit of armor. If anyone who didn't know what they were doing put this on, it'd be like wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Damn it. Good to know. I start throwing bread into the ducks. Well, not. Yeah, and then I turn back and grab some bread and start throwing it to the ducks. Make an animal handling check. <laughs> where the hell is that? Bro's gonna like kill under a dog. Skills. He's gonna get like a crit one and kill a dog. Wait, it's where? 18. In, under animal handling. Uh, under skills. I think. Oh, under skills? It's in the same place that like persuasion and sleight of hand yeah. is. Animal handling. Fuck, <laughs> dude! Seven. What'd you get? You got a seven. You got a. What'd you get, Brayden? Uh, eighteen. Um, so, uh, burger, you're throwing bread, uh, and you hit a duck in the face, and he goes, and it takes up and it flies at your face. Oh god! Um, <laughs> does a two hit your armor class? No, no shot. God. No, no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, how do you prevent this this duck from flying into your face? I fucking dodge him. You push the duck out of the way and it goes. Flies around. Jesus, I got attacked by a fucking duck. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Duck pond. Brayden, duck pond. Yes. Brayden, you're feeding the ducks, and you feel a, you feel a connection to these ducks. You feel connected. Mm -hmm. And when one of them turns their head. And stares deeply into your eyes. No way. He brings feel, a duck along. You feel a voice in your head. You feel a connection has been made. That some deeper knowledge is being brought to you by this duck. You hear. You are an heir, Genasi. There is another like you that still remains. And then the duck goes, Pow. I need some bread. See, this is why I'm a dragon trainer. That's not a big duck news. Trainer. Because I thought the whole group of air genasi was wiped out. This you duck do. just fucking changed, changed the lore. <laughs> he just added new lore. He did change the lore. <laughs> because That's I not. thought they were all wiped out. What if Man. I told you I never changed the lore? This was actually something. This is the plan. lore all the time. That's cap. Oh my god. That's cap. I told you I'd actually. No, I won't. I won't reveal that. Yeah, don't I'm reveal anything. Spoiler. Yeah, don't reveal stuff. That's crazy. Though. Yeah, my uh, Air Genasi order was fully wiped out, and I thought I was the last Air Genasi alive. But I may not be. There's another like me. You're not so special anymore. No, it I I like that there's another air genasi. I um I don't say anything to anybody because I felt like it was just a deep connection that need not be shared with <laughs> with anyone else. I'm just gonna detect and thoughts and like read into your mind later. You sh but you won't know but that. I'm gonna, you're you're gonna read the, you about the duck, the duck telling me information. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look into your mind and see what happened at the duck pond. We're gonna cut over <laughs> to um, Wainstrom. Right. Wainstrom Fildevar. You enter this grand library with stacks and stacks of books on every conceivable topic. Right, this library. is like the center of knowledge. They got all that shit. 
and there's various scholars. They got big glasses and robes and shit. They're all magicians and stuff. What would you What would you like to do? I talk to the uh, librarian. Uh, there's a very very old Aracakra lady. Uh, so much so, some of her feathers have fallen out. Uh, she's wearing uh, half spectacle glasses with a chain on. She goes, "No, oh, oh there." Welcome to the library. Can I get you a library card? Do you have a library card? Wait, do I have a library card? You have a library card. I'll, I'll I, say you have a library card. I, I have a library card. Oh, that's wonderful. Are you looking for anything today, young man? Oh, uh, do you have anything related to the rot? <laughs> the rot? We do, of course. And let me go look up the ISBN number. <laughs> Goes over and she, I don't know, doesn't have a computer because ye olde steampunk times. Uh, she gets out a big book, starts like looking through, and she's like, ah, just up that way on those, on those shelves, you should find information. Okay. Oh, don't forget, we're holding a fundraiser for our, our, our local Girl Scout troop. Okay. <laughs> our, lo our local fledgling troop. Would you like gold <laughs> for that? <laughs> gold? Bruh. Donations no, would be greatly appreciated. Donate don't waste our money on this shit. You can spend you can your own buy, gold. You can buy Bird Scout cookies. Okay. Does this uh, man say bird, bird scout? Sure, cookies? sure. I'll buy some. Yes, You're spending your scout. own gold, not the yeah, communal that's fine. gold. The bird scouts. You. <laughs> I'll buy some. I'm being nice. <laughs> All right. This is my home. I like... have to be nice. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Chris don't gotta do shit while we're here. We just won't be we'll fight it back. Ducks, bro. Why not? I mean, three boxes of. I fed the ducks. Of course, I okay, would fight it back. How much gold are you giving? Because yeah, one gold is three boxes of cookies. Oh my god. I was going to give like five gold. <laughs> if my calculations are I'll give correct, three. I'll give three. Fifteen boxes. I'll give three. <laughs> I'll give so three. you get nine boxes of cookies. Um, They have... They have... um, Coconut macadamia nut. Uh, bird seed. And... Okay, bird seed? They're bird yeah, they, people. They, they, yeah. I guess. Bird and um, yeah. double chocolate chunk. All right. What I'll cookies you want? I'll get three of each. Three of each? Mm -mm -mm. Now that you've got your cookies, are you going to go look for information? Yeah. Can I ask, her for, the can I ask her for uh, uh, books on like unlocking deeper into being a sorcerer? Sure. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. Uh, just give, give me an intelligence check to see how good your research montage is. <laughs> oh, not 20. Not 20? Yeah, I'm fucking smart, dude. <laughs> He's reading. Get research. You so find I, some, so like, I read about the rot and I read about sorcery. Yeah. Okay. You got like some actual mystical knowledge up in your brain. Sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go investigate my lore now. I read some fucking books, like the really thick ones. <laughs> about what you learn about the rot, you uncover some deeper understanding about it. You realize that it is essentially a hive mind, a hive mind parasite, controlling the world and controlling everything it corrupts. Where'd you go, Chris? Your camera just turned off. <laughs> <laughs> and from this oh, from this you realize that since this parasite is a living like corrupter of reality it has one central core that all those other cores draw power from you know those pustules that grew mm -hmm. those are like seeds that land on new planets and connect it to the growing hive mind Interesting. and they all stem from one originator that if destroyed, would be able to destroy all the rest of them. Interesting. And from your research, you've been able to pinpoint that this 
uh, this center of the rot must be emanating from Corsang, the island in the center of the rotting isles. You can see it on the map. It's that little kind of bean-shaped one. Yeah, I see. Corsang. Good to know. <laughs> Let me add this. That is where the originator of everything must lie. And the origin point of the rot. What are you trying to increase about yourself? What do you want to uh what do you want to learn? Just like how to improve generally? Yeah, maybe like Yeah, I guess. Just kind of general. Or like maybe uh I don't know cuz I can't really say like oh new spells or be like healing spells cuz I feel like yeah, I wouldn't be able to learn that from a book. You you read through this and through your perfect research and that not 20. Perfect research. <laughs> You gain a deeper understanding, not just of magic, but of adventuring as a whole. So much so that from your learning, all three of you are going to increase one level. Holy shit, I'm a genius. <laughs> He's literally the greatest scholar to ever live. <laughs> He's good. Good. Dude, I don't even have good intelligence levels. <laughs> you found like some actual nutty knowledge that was Holy just like shit. sitting in the corner. <laughs> he just picked up a book and it gave him fucking ungodly knowledge. <laughs> I mean, also, this is also just a really good spot for y'all to get a level up. You yeah, be a yeah. boss, you've started on a new thing. I am kind of surprised that they would also get that though because it was a sorcery book. But okay. Uh, because because you Don't found out that sorcery, sorcery, mm -hmm. and uh, adventuring in general are more interconnected than you realized. Oh, okay. And you found a way to uh, improve everything. All right. So how do I do this? Go manage, manage character and levels, and then level eight. Yep. So congratulations on level eight, everybody! Woo! Hooray! Cool. Man, you reconvene. Convene. You all with your new knowledge and you Vogler with uh, getting attacked by a duck and you have yeah, like <laughs> leveled up and leveled up with a new quest and a new adventure. You board your ship with your crew ready to go. Where would you like to go? But we're going to see where you go next time because that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Peace.